to me, Chris Brown got the best this song this week. Chris Brown and Quavo beef, it gotta be over. Hey, yo, throw that. Tell them to turn the music on, put on Chris Brown. Let's see what Chris Brown just said. Like, did not just say I'm dripping red. Soup, whoop, whoop, D. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh, I knew it was over some. I ain't playing chess with a ticket player. I'm a ticket buyer on the dick. I shit on niggas. I'm a defecate. Hold on now, Breezy. Hold the fuck on now, Breezy. What the fuck on Breezy, man? What you got on your heart, dog? I beat take off, he the only real one they got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Jerry <laughs> Chris, don't say that, don't lose your head. Even turn a big bad wolf on these fuck niggas, never knew revenge. Oh this will happen when a fuck nigga push a real nigga out to the edge. This will happen when a dumb nigga gets framed and it gets to his head. Don't kiss this ring, nigga. Big fuck you for my middle finger. I tattoo my trigger finger. Bring real beat to your dinner table. Oh my my middle finger ain't never stable. I know this shit don't stink. I bring your ass through the ring, a nigga you just got body by singing that. Smoke me. Oh, man. Smoke me. Oh. That nigga say when takeoff died, I wish it was you instead. Cause Chris Brown sound dangerous. Breezy sound dangerous right now. Breezy, Bree, Breezy sound dangerous. Huh? Breezy sound dangerous. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh man, so that was Cameron reacting to Chris Brown's dissing. Man, I'm telling y'all, bro, it was hard. Some people don't like it. I don't see how you don't like it. The man showcases talents, and even as a Migos fan, you can't take away from what he did with that track, bro. Even old school rappers, this rappers are respecting it, dog. Originally, when Chris Brown let off his first shot with a track Freak off his deluxe um, album, The Level 11 Thing, I wasn't here for a Chris Brown and Quavo rap beef. I was focused on Kendrick versus Drake, but Chris Brown trying to steal a show as the undercar, bro. Even 50 Cent. Bro. Even 50 Cent is acknowledging it, saying, Oh my god, I just heard this. If Quavo don't come with some heat, it's a rap. First, the fat boys break up, and now this. <laughs> Man, listen, bro, it's been crazy so far. Now, in my previous coverage, I pointed out uh, the risk of us, you know, enjoying the entertainment of the shit. But if these two link up, shit can get bad. But a lot of y'all had shit confused, dog. When I was pointing out the stupid shit that Quavo and his crew has done in the past, that wasn't so crazy. That was called like the ignorance. Some people responded like, oh, Chris Brown be with bloods and shit too. Y'all don't get this y'all further proof of my point, man? While Chris Brown may just want to fight, this other side has history where shit has gotten out of hand before and people were shot or losing their life, bro. Like, I can't think of anything happening, me, myself personally, with Chris Brown and those things happening in the past. But even if it did, that further proves the point even more. Beyond the music, bro, like, I don't care who you a fan of. This is still black men's feuding over silly ass shit. This isn't a skill battle. This is an ego trip from both sides. And even though we may get some good music out of this shit, I'm just hoping that it doesn't lead to any sad songs. That's all I'm saying. But in the meantime, we'll enjoy what's says hard not to enjoy this shit, bro. Chris Brown went crazy. But let me know what y'all got to say in the comment section below. I'm going to get up out of here, though. This is another update with Stace. Yo.